First of all, I would like to express my warmest thanks to my good friend Jean Asselborn for the great co cooperation uh, we had today and uh, congratulate him, if I'm allowed to do so, for the excellent way he steered this uh, meeting. The presidency already demonstrated great motivation and commitment to find uh, practical, practical solutions to the challenges of migration. In the last weeks, the Commission and the Council have worked hand in hand uh, to develop together solutions based on the European agenda on migration. Let me remind you here that uh, our commitment, our promise, I mean the promise given and the commitment of the new Commission nine months ago that very soon we would be in a position to present a common European policy on migration, now it is a reality. What uh, Europe had not done for the last three decades, we did it in nine months. And it is an agenda, a comprehensive and holistic agenda that responds to all the questions that might someone raise on the issue of migration. Two weeks ago, the European Council welcomed the European agenda on migration and agreed, as you all know, to relocate and uh, reset a total of uh, 60,000 people in need of international protection. Now, it was now up to the Member States to put solidarity in practice. As uh, uh, Jean said before, we had uh, very constructive discussions at political level this afternoon. And I can tell you that uh, we made progress, especially on uh, resettlement, but we are not there yet. The European Union, it's good for you to note these figures, is making available an extra 50 million euros in this year and in the year 2016. And we are expecting mem member states to make additional efforts to jointly relocate and resettle 60,000 in clear need of international protection. Member states have committed to finalize this before the end of July. 40,000 applicants to be relocated and 20,000 refugees to be resettled over the next two years. In order to achieve this objective, the Commission will provide the appropriate financial support. An extra amount of 240 million euros for the relocation scheme, which will be made available to Member States through a lump sum of 6,000 euros per relocated applicant. For the resettlement scheme, which together with the existing funds add up to 227 million for resettlement. In operational terms, we are mobilizing our agencies not only to prepare and actively assist with the implementation of the relocation scheme. We are also mobilizing them to put in practice the hotspot teams in Italy and in Greece. Significant progress has been made in developing and implementing the hotspot approach, ensuring that the frontline member states are given rapid support by our agencies, particularly by Frontex, EASO, Europol and Eurojust. As I said several times before, relocation and resettlement are part of a broader strategy of the European Union to better manage migration in all aspects. Fighting migrant smuggling, better identifying the migrants and ensuring the return of those that have no right to stay on European Union's territory are also among our top priorities. As requested by the European Council, we are working tirelessly on these issues. That is why today we also discussed the action plan against migrant smuggling. We intend to step up financial investigations in order to identify, seize and recover criminal assets in order to weaken the criminal networks of smugglers and their businesses. Dear friends, the progress we have achieved on migration over the past months 
and especially is now today allowed to say impressive. Europe finally took the lead. We will continue to move forward and implement fully the European agenda on migration. We will do our utmost to manage migration better. Thank you very much.